Hi everyone, I'm Debbie Campus and I would like to welcome you to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you guys, with you guys, about a um, sleeping system for backpacking or camping. And more specifically, lightweight. Because nobody wants to carry that big load of heavy things in their backpacks. At least I don't. parts in our backpack that we can reduce a lot of weight. One of them is your shelter or your tent um, or a hammock if you are a hammock user. Um, those items they can be reduced and they can make significant um, difference if you actually you know decide to go for a lighter system. So I do I have a tent. So what I'm talking to you guys today, it's about sleeping in a tent and actually having to sleep on the ground. So for that you need uh, certain items, which would be something to insulate you from the cold on the ground and to also give you some sort of padding so you can have a good night's sleep and actually uh, the sleeping bag to keep you warm. So those three things are actually two things that are actually important for you to um, consider when you are sleeping in a tent or on the ground. So also I wanted to tell you guys that um, what I'm telling you today is actually what works for me. Um, I know a lot of people use different methods and different ways, so I actually would like you to share with me what you use and so how do you make your sleeping system lighter so you don't have to carry so much in your backpack when you're backpacking, you know, and walking and it's hard when you have a heavy weight, a heavy load on your back. It actually makes your trip less enjoyable. So with that in mind, um, I wanted to start with my sleeping bag. I am actually going to show you guys a little more detail uh, with my camera, like a close-up of how I, I actually set it up and how they look. But um, on my sleeping bag, I actually started with uh, synthetic sleeping bags in the beginning and I made many mistakes. Uh, one, one of them was to first actually I bought a very light sleeping bag that was rated for 60 Minimum rate was 50 to survive cold. Um, uh, uh, comfort rate was at 60, 65. And I took that synthetic back to a night that was 30 degrees or maybe lower even. Um, me and my daughter, we got very, very cold. Um, it wasn't a fun night at all. Um, but you know, you learn from your mistakes. Uh, then the second sleeping bag that I got was also synthetic but it was a warmer bag I got it for the rating of 30 so it was a much warmer bag it was actually a good bag but extremely heavy it was four pounds um, I took it on a backpacking trip and what ended up happening is that it ended up taking up half my 60 liter um, backpack and taking half of that backpack it's a lot of room so I don't think that worked for me it was too heavy it, that's not what I wanted either so I ended up understanding that I needed to go for a down sleeping bag a down sleeping bag it's a goose feathers made out of goose feathers so what happens is goose feathers makes it very warm but also very light and very packable very small so this is my sleeping bag look how small and it is just about a pound it's actually 18 ounces um, it's EG Max so I will include the links uh, in the description so you can check it out maybe you'll like it who knows all right so um, this is the sleeping bag because I was so cold that first time that I got my um, sleeping um, the light sleeping bag I kind of got a little bit traumatized, I have to admit it, um, maybe maybe I am still, I don't want to be cold, I am a cold sleeper already, so that night for me was a nightmare. Um, so I looked for a sleeping liner, 
A sleeping liner, I got it from uh, of micro fleece because fleece, it's a material that keeps you very warm. It actually gives you 10 to 15 degrees more in warmth. So um, I got me a micro fleece bag. It's also 18 ounces. This one is also 18 ounces. And why do I say micro fleece? It's because micro fleece, it's a lighter type of fleece and thin, but still have the same warming capabilities. So this one, I kept it because this one, I think it, I'd rather have a sleeping bag, like, oh, I forgot to say, my sleeping bag rating comfort, it's 40. So if I decide to go on a freezing temperature, which is very normal here in Utah, in the mountains, um, I can always combine it, pair it up with my sleeping liner and I'm good. It'll warm me up and I will have a really good night's sleep. And if it's not that cold, if I can see that it's going to be in the 40s or 50s, then I'll just take my sleeping bag. Or if it's even warmer, then I can just take this liner and leave the sleeping bag at home. So it's, I'd rather have the system like this so I can mix and match and adjust to temperatures than having a really heavy bag, sleeping bag, that I have, I'm stuck with that for the entire um, year. And I prefer just having that flexibility. So, but one thing, bottom line, is that I do not want to be cold. Um, and then after, um, so together with my light sleeping pad, I also bought a really bad uh, inflatable air pad. And it kept deflating. It was really, really awful. I just don't know what happened, but all night it kept deflating losing air so I would just wake up in on the ground cold ground and that didn't make it better it just made it worse I was just freezing if it would have kept me off the ground maybe I wouldn't have been so cold at night maybe the bag would have you know kept me a little bit warmer but just both things were so bad they cut my trip short to just one night and then I came back home and I went straight to researching better products or better options for myself so I did find this pad um, it's I will put the link in the description below um, I can't remember exactly but I know my home system the sleeping system came up to be very affordable and less than probably one down sleeping bag that it's of a bread a, a more expensive brand so this one it's about this thick and it keeps you way off the floor it's double insulated um, and it has a pillow uh, built in so it's really nice it's comfortable and I, I like it so how how do you calculate temperature and temperature is something that is very important for you to know where you're going uh, that way you don't you're not gonna end up packing too much or too little um, for every 1,000 feet that you go up into in elevation you have a decrease of five degrees Fahrenheit. So, for example, um, here where I live is almost 6,000 feet. Um, if I go up in the mountains, which is almost 10,000 feet in elevation, I have about 3,500. Actually, no, 4,000 feet in elevation. So I know it's going to be at least 20 degrees less on the lowest temperature at night. So the lowest temperature is around 3 or 4 o'clock in, in the morning. And you can always check with the nearest town. Um, if the town is very, very close to the place you want to be, then you can consider that the temperature. But if the town is, I don't know, a few miles away or it's at a lower um, elevation, then you can always consider that town's elevation comparing to where you're going to be elevation. And you can calculate that difference in temperature. So simple. For every 1,000 feet you're going up, you're coming down with, you're going down in five degrees Fahrenheit. Um, God, the sun. I'm trying to get away from it. Um, okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how my sleeping system looks laying down open. So here we have my three sleeping items that um, I bring it with me every time. Um, I usually put it in a smaller bag, but I just did it and 
it's kind of hard so anyways <laughs> um i'm gonna start with the sleeping bag so this is the aegis max sleeping bag which is weights 18 ounces so just a little bit over a pound just two ounces over a pound and look how small I have small hands so you can actually have an idea um, actually I could put it right here next to my foot and I wear size 7 so you can have an idea of how little it gets and very very oops so it's falling off my hand because it's so light this is very very light um, this is the sleeping pad also very small just could go a little bit bigger than my foot but um, this one weighs 20 ounces so four ounces over a pound it's very light it comes actually with um, a, a, a blow a blow bag air blow bag that makes things so much easier um, I don't bring it with me just because I'm trying to save um, you know weight just get less weight but you can bring that bag as well and that will fill it up so much faster it does have a um, built-in pillow which makes it so much better um, the bag I paid about $83 um, uh, it, it's around that it could be less it could be more but you can always check um, this one I paid at about $54 or $57 and um, my sleeping liner my micro fleece sleeping liner um, keep in mind that if it's a really hot summer night you don't need the bag you just need the, this right here and it'll be your sleeping bag because um, if you're sleeping at 60 degrees you actually just need you know like 20 degrees of warmth and clothing and this will do so um, the reason that I put them together it's for freezing nights which it has happened to me before um, so as you guys can see this is my setup for my um, my sleeping system without of course my sleeping liner so this would be the AG Max down um, down sleeping bag and this right here is my sleeping pad and what I wanted to show you is just how thick it is very different it's about three inches actually three three and a half inches and it has a pillow already built in so it's very nice um, I was no code uh, not code at all with this um, air pet so um this is the down again the down sleeping bag and I'm gonna show you guys now um, let me back up a little bit so you guys have an idea and I'm gonna show you guys now my with the liner inside Before I put the liner inside the bag, I want you to see. Um, sorry, it's kind of windy. Um, how it looks. So it has a side liner, a uh, zipper. And then it can open this way. So this is a micro fleece, very warm, very nice. It can add about 10 to 15 degrees to your sleeping system. So the bag is weighted comfort at 40 um, Fahrenheit. So with the sleeping system, you're adding another 15. So you can go down to 30 actually in comfort. Of course, always counting that you have a layer of clothing, um, especially if you're a cold sleeper. Um, I always have a layer of clothing on me, um, my leggings, long sleeve shirt, and socks. 
and this is how it looks when you have it inside your bag so you would just close the zipper um, but inside you have an extra layer of fleece so it becomes a very warm system good for especially for women because we always get so cold back it up so you can see it a little better there you go I don't have a pillow because my air pad has a pillow so it's very comfortable so that's it you guys um, this is exactly how I set up my my sleeping system inside my tent so I you know I have been able to go down a lot of pounds I have been able to shed about four pounds off of it um, it used to be seven pounds over seven pounds and now it's three pounds and eight ounces so I'm pretty happy with that um, I love backpacking I love hiking and backpacking I love being in nature and the reason why we do this and we try to always get the light way the lightest way we can it's because it's a priority and um, it's a priority for me. I don't know if it's for you, but I'm guessing if you're watching this video, it's because you want to try to find the best way. Because it is important for you to be in nature, either by yourself, with your dog, with your pet, or with, with your family, friends, however it is. Those are important moments, and having a really heavy backpack can really ruin that because it'll just make you tired and make not being able to go any further. So, um, this is all the whole point of getting a lightweight system, a sleeping system, so you can enjoy your trip better. Um, please let me know if you have any suggestions in the comment section below. Let me know if you have found a better way even, like a lighter way. Um, I would like to know from you. I would like to hear, you know, your side and see how you have come up with it. And also, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And like this video if you did. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys again on the next video. Alright? Thank you and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!